Welcome to To Enable Help. This is for teachers in their classroom, uh, my classroom, and I'm using music theory pre-grade one as an example. What we have here is we've set up a classroom with many learners in the classroom, and uh, we've, in separate videos, addressed each one of the analyzed results and student reports. And now you've got this button, Schedule Event. And Schedule Event is a notification you wish to send to the learners or your students about an up, a planned upcoming event. Okay, so we are going to we're going to message the group. Okay, and um, you can give the name whatever you'd like. It's a music theory pre-grade one. We can put, in fact, here we could say assessment, and we could say uh, you could describe whatever you want. Formal assessment uh, for preparation. Uh, for UNISA exams. Uh, and maybe we should fix our English in preparation where it's going to be. So it could be in the classroom 10B, whatever it might be. Event address is uh, Casterbridge, because the school we're talking about, or organization we're talking about, is Casterbridge. And you can set the date. I could say, on the 3rd from um, 9 in the morning till 11. So now what that's going to do is that's going to add an event to everybody's calendar. So everybody here is going to have that event added to their calendar. So if I look at even, and I'm hoping it's in my calendar also, there we go, pre-grade one assessment, Tuesday the 3rd of May from 9 till 11. And what I can now do is I can take attendance. So it's a formal assessment in preparation for UNISA examinations. And when this event is due to take place at 9 o'clock, I can take attendance for this event. And you can see there's my entire classroom. And I can go through and say who's present and who's not present. Um, let me just go back to that upcoming event. And that is what you can do from your classroom. So you can create an event which is added to everybody's calendar. And there, here you can see there are 188 people involved that have been invited to this event. And those are the students that I'm mentoring. So that is uh, an important part of my classroom in that you can create an event for your, for your class. And the final thing here is um, in my classroom is to send a message and I'm not going to send the message because this is uh, a live space I could type a message and I can send it to them and that will appear in their messaging so the schedule event is obviously something that appears in their calendar and a message is something that appears in their messaging and it's a means for a teacher to communicate with their class as a whole if I want to communicate with just one person I can select their name and I can message just that person so there's a mechanism to allow me to communicate with individuals and there's a me mechanism whereby I can communicate with my entire classroom. So that's in this video, it shows how to schedule an event and how to message a classroom. I hope that is useful to you.